John chapter 11, verse 45 through 57, the plot to kill Jesus. Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. Then the chief of priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the Sanhedrin. What are we accomplishing, they asked. Here is this man performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and then the Romans will come and take away both our temple and our nation. Then one of them, named Cephas, who was high priest that year, spoke up. You know nothing at all. You do not realize it is better for you that one man die for the people than the whole nation perish. He did not say this on his own, but as high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus would die for the Jewish nation, and not only for that nation, but also for the scattered children of God to bring them together and make them one. So from that day on, they plotted to take his life. Therefore, Jesus no longer moved about publicly among the people of Judea. Instead, he withdrew to a region near the wilderness to a village called Ephraim, where he stayed with his disciples. When it was almost time for the Jewish Passover, many went up from the country to Jerusalem for their ceremonial cleansing before the Passover. They kept looking for Jesus. As they stood in the temple courts, they asked one another, what do you think? Isn't he coming to the festival at all? But the chief priests and the Pharisees had given orders that anyone who found out where Jesus was should report it so that they might arrest him. Hey everybody, welcome back to Susan Diamond Paints. You can be a diamond painter too. Season 2. Yep, season 2. Alright, so we're still working on this single color right here. Just set on my bag, sort of fit. All right, so I got this bag right here. So the color we're working on. So we get it open, number twenty nine. So I just got done, even though I didn't film it. Um, moving my spares from the binder system over to the Art Dot two hundred forty case. I got two sections done so I have 160 colors that are spare diamonds colors so just that's been a weekend thing working on that getting that done so it took me two days to get that done so got that done just not too long ago so we're working on this little section right here so I'm going to continue with the checkerboard method I think I'm gonna just do the steps here so diagonally down Create our spaces. Today is Sunday. This will be Monday night's video. So this weekend, let me see. Yesterday, I worked out here to get the storage thing done. Um, I was gonna work on later yesterday evening. I was gonna look at move getting the uh, Looney Tunes kitted together haven't done that yet I don't know what I was freaking out about because I should be able to get it all in one case because it's not that many colors so I'll take a look at my cases to see which one I want to put it in because right now for the 240 case art dot box that I have the top section I have my beads for my Chuck Pinson space for reflection which I'll be working on after this picture um, or, you know, working on it while I'm not filming uh, this, this uh, picture right here. And I have all those um, beads in the top part and then this, the bottom part is the two um, sections of my spare drills. So I have a whole nother uh, 240 case art dot uh, case it's the extra large the extra extra large is the 420 I don't need that one yet for my spares so I was like I was glad I don't have one of those yet because those are bigger and I just don't have the space for that right now so I'm just going to see how it goes and decide what I'm going to do about the if I'm just going to keep getting the 240 cases and use those so I put my bags back into the um, binders so the binders are thin again I'm going to use my binders though for my leftover drills for my diamond art club since that's what the majority of my canvases are so that's what I'm going to use those for and then I got a box 
baseball card storage box. All right, you can go there because you fell there. Um, with spares. And I have one binder that had my heaven and earth design colors for my first picture I wanted to do and how many I needed. So I'm gonna go through the baseball card box and use those for that uh, picture also. So I'll have to go through that. Eventually that will be another weekend thing, another weekend project. That's, I'm not doing that during the week. I'm actually done with painting during the week since that's my stress reliever. So that's what I have for that. So, as I said, so yesterday I worked on the spare storage a little bit. Um, was going to film, but then I didn't get around to it because then we went out and had some shopping things we needed to do. Okay, I'm finding where my next one's going to be here because there's some spacing right there. So, we'll just go down this way with it, just keeping up with the every other, but trying to stay within the rectangle square this is it right here so yep um so we went let me I'm trying to think where did we go first we went hmm, oh costco went to costco first had to get toilet paper and then wanted to see what they had for bacon oh uh, we like the cooked one because that's what we cook in the morning just nuke it in the microwave for a little bit and get it nice and crispy but um, there's the sodium content was a little higher than what we wanted, so we didn't get any bacon. We are uh, drinking the Celsius water, um, so they had a better um, flavor pack. It's the Arctic pack, so um, we got some of those, and they were on sale for like 18 something. I think really priced 23 dollars, so like five dollars and something off. So we got some of those. Got half in the fridge, half in the laundry room we got some um kind breakfast bars uh some of those we tried one of those so i ate one of those for breakfast this morning they were pretty good we got some make it snack bars i wanted some apple juices because i like to drink apple juice in the morning so we got a uh, apple and Eve, I believe is what it's called. Um, it's apple juice, berry, berry, and fruit punch. So he has three very berry ones in the fridge for him to, to try less to try. Then I have the rest. All right, now for this row right here, I'm trying to find what the every other one is. So I'll just do that where it's supposed to go. Right, there's this because we're getting into some Y's and we're not doing the Y's because we're doing this slash right here because this is our color we're working on for the um, one color at a time and we got a lot of these so we'll be getting in up here at the top I'll fill all these back in but we'll just do this section right here and go with it but yeah so um Trying to think what else we got. Thinking that's it. That's all that we got at Costco. And then we, where did we go after Costco? Oh, we went to eat and we ate at Fuji's and that's like a hibachi uh, grill type place. Fast food hibachi, I guess is what you'd say. So we ate there and then he needed to go to Walmart, even though I didn't want to go to Walmart because that place is horrendous. But he knew there were these wipes that he wanted to get um, that he likes for his electronics for screens to use to write, wipe the screens. And so he wanted to get those from Walmart. But he got lucky because while he was there, they um, he's got the new Xbox S. So those um the only external storage that they'll take where you can actually play games off of it is a cart type cartridge type thing that you have to plug into the back of the xbox so the uh, normal external hard drives will work they'll store the games but you can't play the games off of them so you'll just be transferring the game back and forth to your internal system if you're okay with that that's fine he's not so much he wanted the um to look at to uh, see so we actually walked over there and they actually had a 512 gig 
which is the same size as his internal hard drive, are one terabyte. So then the 512 gig was $89. And they had one. So I told him, you might as well get it because they have it. He can't find them anywhere right now. I said, so you'll have it. And that'd just be like having a, a whole new you know, internal hard drive. So he went ahead and got one of those. And they got the wipes from Walmart. So we got, actually got lucky and was able to pay for all that in the electronic section. So we weren't in the craziness of either self-checkout or standing in line waiting on a cash uh, register. A cashier at a register, I guess I should say. So had that. So I got that done. So then we went to our popcorn place because we wanted to fill our popcorn tin. Uh, we had eaten all our popcorn and we went to the beach and hadn't got it filled yet. So we got um, white cheddar is a go-to flavor right now. We haven't strayed from that one. So white cheddar was one of our sections. Um, salted sea salt caramel was a sec second section. So we usually get a, you know, a cheddar, or well, I should say, we get the white cheddar, some caramel, and then some other flavor, you know, a sweet flavor or something. So we got the sea salt caramel, and then the other flavor we got was Lucky Charms. And it's Lucky Charms popcorn with the Lucky Charms marshmallows in it. Really good. It's really sweet, but really good. So we got that. And then um, we came home and unloaded everything. And so then I came out here to finish up what I was doing with the, or at least uh, finish one binder is what the idea was going to be. But then I got, it's like, I was like, um, not so much frustrated. I was just tired of doing it. So I did as much as I could. And then I came inside. So when I came in, I was like, well, you know, it's almost nine o'clock. It's like, you know, time for us to have our coffee. So I asked him, and, you know, he was gaming. I said, what you doing? He's like, oh, I'm just getting, you know, done with this. I said, well, you want to watch a movie? He goes, yeah. I said, okay, so let's watch us at Fast and Furious 2. Because when we got the Blu-ray uh, the, the Blu DVD player that he had gotten, uh, we watched Fast and, the first Fast and Furious. So he's like, okay, yeah, we'll watch that one. He's like, have we seen them all? I said, yes, we've seen them all. I said, if we haven't seen it in the movie theater, I said, we well, please, you know, seen them all. He doesn't remember seeing them all. So I told him, I said, well, I said, we'll just watch them in order. I said, but we're going to skip number three because there's no point in watching number three. So that will be what we'll skip. You know, next time we decide we're going to watch, you know, watch it, we'll watch number four, which might be this weekend since it's a three-day weekend, so... Although I did tell him, I said, um, while we're coming back from getting our popcorn about movie date, because he had told me I want to, he said, let's watch a movie tonight. It's like, and I thought about it, I was going to play, you know, Disney Dreamlight. I said, oh, no, I'm going to play, you know, Disney Dreamlight. So he's like, okay. So, but then I decided last night after when I went through it here, I was like, kind of like, well, I just want to, don't, don't want to do anything. Let's watch a movie. So I told him, I said, well, I said, next weekend, I said, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend. I said, maybe Sunday afternoon or Sunday night, I said, we can go see the new Fast 10 movie. So he said, yeah, okay, that sounds you know, like a plan. So that's kind of like where we're probably going to be headed for Sunday of, you know, next weekend, Memorial Day weekend. So I told him, I said, we'll just be watching the, you know, movies as we go. So since he doesn't remember them. And I mean, I remember some things. I mean, I obviously remember number two. I knew what number two was. Who was introduced in number two so it's just you know you get there and you kind of don't remember all quite all the storylines but so that's what we were talking about last night so we finished watching that well it was, wasn't quite 11 o'clock yet so um i told myself well i'm gonna read on my tablet so i read last night y'all good for me I started a new book um i'm still reading a, a book that i wasn't going to tell you about because i'm not we're not getting into all that yet um, but, um, I had seen this preview and I, I got checked to see if I actually have the book. So I don't know if I have it or not, but the, the uh, movie's called Fallen. And I feel like I've read the book, but I wasn't sure. So I looked last night to see if I could get on my Kindle, uh, oh, for Kindle Unlimited and I can't. And on Scrib, I uh, have that subscription too. It's only available as an audio book. It's like, well, it's like, well, I can listen to that at work. So I might do that, you know, get it on my phone. And then I can listen to it, you know, when I'm not recording what we're doing here and listen to it while I'm working on the other one. Because this one I'm going to be working with y'all. 
Got to shake some of my drills around here. Get them moved. Okay. So, yeah. So, that's what um, I did last night. So, the book that I started last night um, is a shifter paranormal romance because I like those. And apparently, I like the... Yeah, I like the werewolves, I think, or the wolves the most. That's the ones I read the most. And this one, that's what this one is. So it's about this um, alpha male who finds his faded um, or his um, faked mate, faded mate, I guess you should say. Um, and she's part human, part wolf shifter, although she doesn't know she's part wolf shifter. So um, that's what I'm reading now. And... Faded Mate, I think is what the name of it is, and I can't remember the author, but that's what I'm reading right now. So I read a little bit of that last night. I read some of it this morning while I was waiting. Um, we went to the second service this morning because uh, it was graduation service, uh, but really we went just for the graduation part, and then we left because um, last weekend was um, Mother's Day weekend and we were supposed to go to Logan's and then it was just crowded and we went to Cracker Barrel instead. So we decided we were going to go to Logan's today. So that's what we did. So we got over there about 12 o'clock and then I had, um, I usually get the uh, pork chop, grilled pork chop and the apples and the salad, but I wasn't really feeling like wanting the, the pork chop. So I just got um, my next second best thing I like to get which is a salad a cup of chili and a baked potato So that's what I got at uh, Logan's today in the graduation service part was really good. So That's what we have to look forward to for Friday Friday's uh, the graduation service at school uh, Hopefully it won't rain when I graduated high school it rained so we had at our graduation in the uh, high school gym which then that at that point in time it's limited seating as opposed to when you're having at the uh, high school football stadium and it's not limited seating um so then everybody in your family can come so for mine it was limited seating so it was my parents and my grandparents um that came and my sister of course uh but you know it rained so it rained that morning but it didn't rain that night but they already had it prepared in the gymnasium so that's where we had it so i didn't graduate and walk across the football field so the uh, other graduations that i've been to that's all the ones i've been to are um, have been outside so hopefully this one will be outside too i think the weather's supposed to be nice enough for it to be outside so and i don't think it's going to be as hot for a memorial day weekend either so that's good at least that's the last i heard so that's what we have for uh, Friday, because we have that going on. So I'm going to finish this little section right here. Can't get my beads to pull up. This is like where my line is. Get on up there, come on. Right up there you go. But come on, just does not want to pick the bead up. There it is, right there, right there. Okay, so that's it. That's that section right there. So I am going to stop the recording here. This will be your uh, episode for Monday night, and I will talk with y'all later. Bye.